Astronomy Events June 2022 Some months may not seem particularly exciting for stargazing when you first glance, and then you dig into the astronomical events to realize how much is actually going on. June 2022 is one of those months. After a sleepy start, there's very little to see in the first half of the month. The second half of June is jam-packed with interesting astronomical events. From asteroids and occultations to the grand alignment of the visual planets and the many lunar conjunctions that accompany it, June has a lot going on. In addition to all this, the Milky Way dominates the June night sky in the Northern Hemisphere, and it's easier to see than you realize. Grab your binoculars or telescope, a blanket, and head out to see the wonders of the June 2022 night sky. June 5 Saturn enters retrograde motion. Saturn will enter retrograde motion, halting its usual eastward movement through the constellations, and turning to move westwards instead. This reversal of direction is a phenomenon that all the solar system's outer planets periodically undergo, a few months before they reach opposition. The retrograde motion is caused by the Earth's own motion around the Sun. As the Earth circles the Sun, our perspective changes, and this causes the apparent positions of objects to move from side to side in the sky with a one-year period. This nodding motion is superimposed on the planet's long-term eastward motion through the constellations. June 6, Asteroid 29 Amphitrite at Opposition On the night of June 6, Asteroid 29 Amphitrite will be at opposition and well lit by the Sun on the Earth's opposing side. This large asteroid is the fifth largest in the main asteroid belt, and stretches some 125 miles 200 kilometers, in diameter. To spot this solar system object, use a Starfinder app and look in the constellation Scorpius. June 14, Full Moon It's a Super Moon. This month, the Moon reaches full phase at around the same time that its elliptical orbit also makes its closest approach to the Earth called its perigee. In recent times it has become fashionable to describe such full moons as supermoons, a term which originated among astrologers in the late 1970s. The moon's distance from the Earth varies because its orbit is not perfectly circular, it is slightly oval-shaped, tracing out a path called an ellipse. Its angular size also varies by the same factor, between 29.4 arcmin and 33.5 arcmin. When full moon coincides with perigee, it does appear very slightly brighter than at other times, but the difference is so small as to be imperceptible to the untrained eye. June 17, Mercury at greatest elongation west. Mercury will reach its greatest separation from the Sun, in its May to July 2022 morning apparition. It will be shining brightly at mag 0.4. This apparition will not be one of the most prominent, and tricky to observe, reaching a peak altitude of 16 degrees, above the horizon at sunrise on June 19, 2022. June 18, Conjunction of the Moon and Saturn. The Moon and Saturn will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 4 degrees and 16 minutes to the south of Saturn. The Moon will be 19 days old. The pair will be visible in the morning sky becoming accessible around 2336, when they reach an altitude of 7 degrees above your eastern horizon. They will then reach their highest point in the sky at 426, 47 degrees, above your southern horizon. June 21st, June Solstice. 21st of June will be the longest day of 2022 in the northern hemisphere, midsummer day. You already know what it is. June 21st marks the longest day of the year above the equator in the Northern Hemisphere, also called the Summer Solstice. This is the day when the Sun's annual journey through the constellations of the Zodiac carries it to its most northerly point in the sky, in the constellation of Cancer at a declination of 23.5 degrees north. This day is counted by astronomers to be the first day of summer in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, the Sun is above the horizon for less time than on any other day of the year, and astronomers define this to be the first day of winter. June 22, Grand Alignment of the Visible Planets While planetary alignment is virtually impossible, 
Sometimes the planets do appear to align and give us a beautiful show. One such opportunity for this will occur on the morning of June 22nd. On this morning the five visible planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, will all appear in a row and in the same order that they are from the Sun. Some astronomers and media are calling this the grand alignment of 2022. It will certainly be a great morning to get up before the sun and try to spot all five visible planets in one go. I'll be up with my camera to see if I can catch them all. June 24, Conjunction of the Moon and Uranus. 2022 is a great year for lunar occultations, and this one is one that some might actually get to see. For those in Northwest Australia or Southern Indonesia, look to the sky on the night of June 24. You'll need a telescope to spot distant Uranus as it passes behind the waning crescent moon. For the rest of us not in that part of the world, we can enjoy a close visual approach between Uranus and the moon. As mentioned, you'll need a telescope but it will be well worth it. The two solar system objects will appear just 2.8 arc minutes, 0.04 degrees, apart, that's closer than the Great Conjunction was in 2020. June 26. Conjunction of the Moon and Venus As the Moon has been moving through the ecliptic, and the planets are also beautifully arranged in the sky, it's no surprise that the Moon has been having conjunctions, with each planet in turn. Last, but certainly not least, the Moon meets Venus on the morning of June 26. The two will appear just 2 degrees 41 apart, and Mercury will also be close at hand in the pre-dawn sky. June 27. Peak of the June Budits Meteor Shower Most meteor hunters skip the June Budits each year, because their typical zenith hourly rate is 1 to 2 per hour on an average year. But don't let that discourage you if you're out on the night of peak activity on June 27. Some years this unpredictable meteor shower has a burst of up to 100 meteors per hour. Nobody's certain if that might happen in 2022 or not, the last burst year was in 1998. June Budids are also known for being extremely long meteors, streaking slowly across a large portion of the sky due to the angle at which these meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere. So even if you only see one or two this year, they'll likely be an impressive sight. June 28, Neptune enters retrograde motion. Neptune will enter retrograde motion, halting its usual eastward movement through the constellations, and turning to move westwards instead. This motion was known to ancient observers, and it troubled them as they could not reconcile it with models in which the planets moved in uniform circular orbits around the Earth, as they believed. If you like the video, share the same with astronomy lovers and subscribe to our channel, Secrets of Space for Astronomy Updates. Thank you for watching.